it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And the stock markets around the globe fell in price this week as Wall Street's view on the U.S.-China trade dispute went from nearing a conclusion to the belief that the trade war will last a lot longer and hit the economy a lot harder. A number of Wall Street firms released new reports warning that the trade war was getting worse, including economists and strategists from the likes of Goldman Sachs, Nomura, and Bank of America. They now think that it's more likely than not that the Trump administration will move ahead with the final tranche of tariffs targeting roughly $300 billion in imports from China at a 25% rate. Now, Wharton economist Jeremy Siegel says the market wants a solution. And don't forget, the market didn't really want a trade war. He believes that the president and his political advisors know that Trump's re-election prospects rest on keeping the stock market and the economy strong, and he needs to cut a deal. Professor Siegel says he can pull victory out of defeat. No one is really going to look at the details of a deal, stressing that the president tends to view everything that he does as fantastic and the best ever. He has the bully pulpit to cast any agreement with China as a victory, even if it ends up being just so-so. Nonetheless, investors hate uncertainty and sold stocks this week and piled into bonds, pushing the yields on the 10-year Treasury bond to just under 2.4%, its lowest level so far in 2019, but also their highest prices. Owning bonds has been very profitable so far in 2019. Now compare the bond yield to the dividends available in the stock market, and it's clear to me that dividends are on sale. REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust, yield over 4%. Energy MLPs yield over 6%. Blue chip non-US stocks are yielding over 3.5%, and even blue chip US value stocks are yielding close to 3%. Now, when you factor in that most of these dividend payers have increased their dividends most years over the past 10, a fixed rate of 2.3%, for 10 years, that doesn't change. Looks rather puny and small to me. Last I checked, no one, especially economists and strategists from the largest Wall Street firms, can predict the unpredictable or know the unknowable, like the resolution of a trade war. What I believe and will always bank on is human nature and our tendency to do what's in our best interest. Politicians always want to be reelected. CEOs always want to make more money for themselves and their shareholders. Investors always want to receive a fair return for the risk they take. Common sense dictates that this trade war and the uncertainty it creates, like all uncertainties, will dissipate and disappear. So ignore the noise, ignore the rhetoric and the innuendos, and instead stick to the process and discipline of a goal-based investment strategy. Your bond portfolio is trading at a new high so far in 2019. Meanwhile, dividends are on sale. What could be better than getting paid while you wait for the stock market to hit new all-time record highs, just like it's always done since the day you were born? If you're sitting here wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my risk tolerance that's going to help me to achieve my goals and my dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a professional like a fiduciary can provide? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692.